make sure that you remember to have them. Um, so we talked about a couple properties. One of the things we talked about, if we had log base b of x times y, so if we have the product in, of our value of our logarithm, we can break that up into two separate logarithms of, of log base b of x plus log base b of y. Everybody agree with me? That's fine. Don't worry about it. Next one said, if we have the log of division, x divided by y, equals log base b minus, or sorry, of x, minus log base b of y. So if we have the division inside of our logarithm, we can rewrite that as, we can rewrite that um, as the, the subtraction of the two different logarithms. And the last one is if I have log base b of x raised to the m power, I can rewrite that as m times log base b of x. So if you have it as an exponent, you can rewrite it as a product. All right? So what are we going to do with this problem? Well, the first thing we need to do so we need to determine what the square root is doing around here, right? We haven't talked about square roots yet, or the fourth root. What is this four root doing? So to do this, we need to remember something. Does anybody know what the fourth root is as a rational exponent? Okay. Um, how about the square root? How can I rewrite the square root of x as a rational exponent? Yeah, it's 1 half. So if you guys forget from algebra 2, write, to, write this down, please. x over a over b is equal to the b root of x to the a. We are going to be doing quite a bit of these. So if you forgot that simple rule, make sure you rewrite it. x to the a over b equals the b root of x to the a. So if I have the fourth root, that means I can rewrite this as l of x cubed um, times x squared plus 3 raised to the 1 fourth power. Right? OK. Then my, pow my rule says um, that if I have these raised to the power, I can now um, break this down, right? So I can break this down into now 1 fourth of ln x cubed times x squared plus 3. Right, 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 right. So now, what do we do when we have a product? I said, if you have a product, Caroline, what can we rewrite a product with? OK. What if we have the product of two numbers, I can rewrite it as? If I have a single logarithm and I'm evaluating it for the product of two values, I can rewrite it now as what operation? The sum of how many logarithms? Two. So if you're multiplying two, you can rewrite it as the sum of two individually, OK? So how many expressions am I multiplying here? One, two, three. How many am I multiplying here? Two expressions, right? Monomial, binomial. Okay? Don't be confused. You're like, what should I do with the adding? No, no, no. You're not going to split apart the adding one. We don't have a rule for splitting apart the adding and just expanding it out. All right? And this does not say log of x squared plus log of 3, so you can't do go back to condensing it. All right? So therefore, I have 1 fourth times ln of x cubed plus ln of x squared plus 3. And then, ladies and gentlemen, last step, what can we do with this 3? Last rule is what can we do with the 3? Bring it down front. OK? You can't bring down the 2 in front here because you're not taking the logarithm of x squared. You're taking the logarithm of x squared plus 3. So it's separated, so you can't bring down the 2. OK? Very cool. Cool, kind of fun, exciting, hard one, easy one. Do you guys want an easier one or a harder one? Harder.